Same thing uh, with me. Um, when I got here, they were already on the first cycle. Um, I got to work with Tony and Jose and Steph on Stockman on the first cycle. And it was great. We had fun. And we did a lot of good things. I hate to see them leaving, but I know we're always talking about the time for the rotate, so the new ones can come in and take their place. And we got to do the great things we're doing, especially with Steph on the home. Steph on Suzette, Tony and Jose. So you see, we got to go. I checked in, they were hopping on a bus. I didn't need to DC with a bunch of hats. They had no idea who they were. And I was grateful that I was not going on the trip. I hate to do I do hate to see them go. Um good three years. We were suffering together. But I'm also glad to see y'all go because I know it's it's time to put it in and you know on better things. Jealous that y'all got out before. <laughs> Uh, I promise not to cry on this one. Uh, one thing in common that each of these Marines have is that I did not like either of them, any of them, when I first got here. Whether it was Staff Sergeant Stockman trying to tell me how to be, Sergeant That Ain't It Pompa, or uh, Sergeant Hinojosa blasting the hats through the recruits at McMath. But uh, I came to respect all of you in your own ways. I love you guys, and I wish you the best of luck when you do. Gentlemen and ladies, uh, first of all, this is very cool because they all came out of the same class, same company, and they finished together, and we all know that a lot of hats don't get a chance to do that. Uh, I got stuff on each one of them. Uh, so, Papa, awesome to see you at your parade rest, finally. Shout um, <laughs> out to Sergeant Hinojosa. Uh, probably the most, uh, I don't know the right word to talk about him with, um, Emotionally connected in a way and just listen to the story uh, When we first started the seniors here were a lot different the the Marines just kind of the culture was a, a, a Little bit different. We still work our asses off here. We all know that but the people were just different So when I first saw him Working the first moment that I saw him working was him. Uh, he was IT and recruits and uh, <laughs> He was uh he, he was in the middle of that quarter deck and there was one in every corner, and uh, his boss told him to go from this one to that one to that one, and he was just, it was not stop. Uh, he was killing himself. Uh, his senior was working his ass off. And it was every day, and I was feeling the same thing, you know, on my deck, and I know Papa was too, Stockman was. Um, but watching that with Hinojosa 
getting, getting his ass dragged in the dirt. I never forget that. I can still see it at the rough points. Um, and Kruger was a good dude. He really was. But uh, that that just meant a lot to me that you know he could go through that and he could take it and he never quit and he stayed positive the entire time he was down here. And if you had a chance to work with him and talk with him, you'll see on duty nights. You know, I go down there, we, we you know sharing songs together and just talking about things, marine things. Uh, you know, he's the kind of person that. He cares more about being a Marine than being a hat, which is awesome because we need people like him to stay in. Um, I'm so damn happy that you're getting promoted and you're going to the fleet because there's a lot of Marines that are going to love you, and that's a good thing. Um, Sar Papa, <laughs> Sar Papa. The four of us used to IT together all the time. It was competition every day, fierce competition. Going on his day, always organized, always. Always clean. Appreciate you trying to make my house clean, by the way, this cycle, even though it's already tight. Um, I came into work at like 7 this morning. I hope that felt good for you. Um, you know, just uh, a lot of the stuff I have with Palmer is IT and recruits. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Because um, we did a few things. Uh, but you know what? He, he's one of the better drill instructors that we've ever had come through here. And uh, he put his heart and soul into it, just like... Saw Hannah Hosa did every day. Never complained. Never whined. Shut up. I got to do it. Tight. Let's get there. Let's do it. Let's get it done. You know that that was their mentality. Um, Stats on Stockman. Me and him have been together for three years now. That first week that I checked in, when I'm watching Hannah Hosa get get worked, and, and Papa was getting worked over there with Garcia and Strickler, and and, and I was I thought I was going to die, and we're at the rifle range of the pits, and I asked Stockman how I could quit. <laughs> I told him I couldn't do this crap. I said, there's no way I can make it. And uh, I was a sergeant, and he did what a, he, he did what a good staff sergeant should do. He, he mentored me. He told me that you can make it. You just got to get through it, you know? And it was like every day he would have just one little thing to say. I'd see him doing something or, or, or blazing a kid or, or just screaming at something, trying to scream. You know you're not loud at all. <laughs> no volume at all. But he would try, and I, I just saw that. Like, this guy, and he was getting killed too over there on, on his team. And, we were all just dying, and uh, you know, me and Strickler and Gruber just lost <laughs> watching them for our example. But uh, you know, I used to sit in his car with his wife every night on duty, third ass together. She'd bring me food, I'd feed their dogs together. You know, we we, we just we came up together. The competition, like I said. But uh, I'll mostly remember just how how poised, how 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 confident they were as as they came up through all the belts, and you got to hit every one of them, and that's awesome because you deserve it. And anybody that makes it through three years of this crap deserves to have somebody come up here and talk about them because nobody else knows about it. You get out to the fleet and they're just going to call you a hat. But I know because I got to see it every day. Uh, I love all you a lot. I want you to know that and, uh, coming up with you was awesome. So, yeah. I can't follow that one, but I guess I'll try. Uh, <laughs> Same thing, like Sasha Grant said, all three of these guys are loving to death. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm going to uh, I remember two cycles ago being in heavy together with him. That was, that was my only cycle as a heavy, so that was definitely my funnest cycle. We had an outstanding time together. Uh, we communicated well. When I beat uh, him in the initial drill, I think that was one of my best feelings because we all know Sergeant Hill also loved the drill. I, I beat him in the initial drill, I felt like I was the king of the world. I was like, yes, somebody finally took the master down. And then, of course, he came back to the final drill and shoved it in my butt. He killed me. He killed me on final drill. So embarrassing. He, he told me through the whole site, he said, keep, keep talking about this drill. I'm going to get you back. And sure, it's enough. Final drill came. He, he demolished everybody. It wasn't even close. So. And his passion for the job is, is, is it's crazy. I, I love him death for that. But I hope I can live up to it. Sorry, Papa. Like uh, like I said earlier, uh, that's not it. I remember when I first got here, I was on third deck follow. He was on, I believe, first deck with us on board. I remember every time I ran down the well, that's what I heard. Hey, kill and start. That's not it. I was like, how do you run down the stairs? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, he gave me a lot of pointers in my first seven. I, I don't know if you remember, but I really appreciate that. He helped me out a lot. Thank you. Even though I was a staff sergeant and he was a sergeant, he had no problems whatsoever coming and telling me better ways of doing things and to make me better down here in the drill field and not just a better drill instructor, better marine. I think that. Staff Sergeant Stockman, 
we worked together with the uh, staff and the boats. We had an outstanding time that cycle. Like, uh, I loved it to death. Did any hat scream on that platoon at all? <laughs> there was a three of y'all. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> that, I think that was the only cycle I've worked so far where I came into work probably every day and, and never had any issues. I, I was happy coming to work. I, I had an outstanding boss in Stasar Slocky, my, my heavy Stasar but It was great. I never had to worry. I knew I was getting taken care of every day, everywhere I went, no matter what. And the knowledge that he instilled in me that cycle, it, it made me the better the senior I am today and the better chief I'll be for coming up tonight. I really appreciate you guys. All of those One thing about all three of them is their, their work ethic is going to be unmatched. I mean, the way they have not just competitions, but they strive to make themselves better every day and make the Marines about around them better every day. You can see it in their eyes and in their recruits' eyes that they, they just look different. I don't know. But I really appreciate you all for all the hard work you've done. That just means that you <laughs> uh, gentlemen, great. Sorry, I got a little one over here. Uh, but when I first showed up here, I worked with Uncle Brian. Even though he does a gun, bro, tracks is not being a machine gunner from one, but two. I saw him, I was like, man, how long has this dude been in the Marine Corps? Well, he's been in like two years. I was like, shit. Uh, he's just a good dude. I remember first when we first got here, was, he goes, hey, we got to hike tomorrow for grains. I was like, that ain't crap. I ain't got nothing in my pack. That's probably the worst hike I've ever done in my life, and we've done it for before. That's pretty bad. Uh, he's a good dude, just like Staff Sergeant Irvin said, the best advice he ever gave me at the end of the night was his duty night when we were there. The latest crap was, I don't know what that was, but that wasn't it. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll fix it. But uh, he's just a good Marine. If, uh, he'll pick up Staff Sergeant one day, but uh, old Jorge Hinojosa over here, you know me and him were going to have problems when he screamed at me at LNS because I didn't know where the hell I was going with about 90 recruits. But uh, we were heavies together, and it was like one of the best cycles for me and him and Staff Sergeant Kirk. Everybody knew they were going to kill me in drill because I really don't care about drill. I think it's stupid. <laughs> hey, Hannah Hosea would help me out. Staff Sergeant Kirk would help me out. And uh, he's going to make a great Staff Sergeant. For a bunch of poems, you fellas ain't bad. Uh, he got Staff Sergeant Stockton. When I first got here, I worked with uh, Palmer and Boss Moore, and he's on third deck. Staff Sergeant Mahius was hating his life. I was hating my life on second deck. And no, nobody did scream on third deck follow. Oh. Uh, Imagine that. <laughs> no, but, but everybody knows about third deck follow. Because y'all had the sweetest voices. <laughs> That's why they all had to go to dental on the last day, because they had a sweet old mouse. They had a bunch of cabinets. But if, I had, if I had a Staff Sergeant in a fleet, like Staff Sergeant Stockman, because in the grunts, your Staff Sergeant really don't give a shit about you. As long as he gets his MREs and PFCs get hate. If I had a Staff Sergeant like him who cared, I think we'd all be in a better place. I mean, he saw me go through some problems. He'd actually pull me aside and, like, tell me, hey, excuse my language, you ain't a bitch, we're going to get help. So he's just a great dude, and I'm going to miss him a lot, all three of these dudes. But we'll see you in the great movie yonder at Camp Machine. I only got to work a partial in the same series with uh, Sergeant Pounder, so I really don't know too much. He did, I mean, he was a big eight, they thought that they did. So he did, he did it a couple times, but he always stayed professional. That's what I, I love about Sergeant Pounder. Even now, I talk to him like, he always kept professional. It's, it's always a Marine thing first before a black so I always appreciate it. Um, Sergeant Osa, I was pretty third half with me, uh, me and you the most, and uh, Chavez. Um, at first, at first uh, I had heard a lot of things about you. And I was like, man, you know, I had just came back off the cycle. That was really hard for me. And they were like, hey, he's going to be the same way. And I was dreading it. But the first time we, we, we hung together was at the Chick-fil-A. 
we sat down and we talked about how, we're, how the cycle was going to go, and immediately I was just like, this is going to be a great cycle. Because the chemistry on the team was just amazing. And that was probably my, my favorite and my best cycle because we put everything into that cycle. And I, I love it. I'm missing it. I'm excited to do love the cycle. I came, but I, I hope later on down the road I get to, I get to run into you again, man, work with you, 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 work with you. That's, that's the kind of person you're with. Snaps don't stop me. I was your Nick. Uh, my parcel and uh, parcel, was, parcel was a little hard, you know what I mean? But one thing I, I can say about Snaps don't stop me, um, especially the first day I was on deck, I got blasted crazy hard at, at the back of the uh, squad base for talking to a recruit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I talked to a recruit and he blasted me. But the thing that I love about Snaps on Stockman is it was always business. It was nothing personal, ever, ever. And he brought me back in there and talked to me and said, hey, dog, you got to do this and this and this. And then when, even when it was at BWT, I'm, I'm lost. I'm like, I'm sick of with my head cut off and running around. And he goes, Snaps on me is. I'm like, yes, he's on Stockman. He's like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And he, he brought me in and he just explained, hey, look, this dude's doing this, he's doing that, he's moving, he's scratching. And he always mentored me, and I love that. Like, he never he never blasted me in front of a recruits and made me lose face or anything like that. Even now, we're at the regiment, and he does the same thing. He mentors me and he helps me out. And uh, all these guys did that for me. And because of that, because they took care of me, because they took care of me, like, I owe everything to me. Like, I mean, I mean y'all did forever. I'm gonna miss you, even though I'm, you're about to go back to work in a few minutes. I'm gonna miss you. Thank 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 that's how I saw when they run. You know, open the screen and how they run or screen. And like they're always telling me, hey, do this, do that, do this. But uh, honestly, uh, when I first got here, like, they were the three that everybody was always saying, you know, look at him, look at him, and, and try to 